Before you, I assume you auditioned for a movie like this? Yeah. Is that how it works? Yeah, I did. I had to go in and sing for Bill Condon. The director they, of the film? The yeah. director of the movie, yeah. He, uh, I get he wanted to see everybody. I mean, I right. saw a lot of people going in and out before So me. before you do that, do you watch the animated version, the, the original version of Beauty and the Beast? I and did. Have that in your head? Yeah, I watched it with my godchildren, because I sort of forgot the track of um, Gaston. It's actually a brilliant role, you know? He, he's... Uh, He's a bit of a monster, but he's funny and you laugh at him quite a lot as yeah, well. Yeah, he's you know? a funny monster. Yeah. yeah, but I can sing and I, it was like a brilliant moment because, like, you know, you, you go in these auditions, you're always feeling very self conscious, you know, you're not very good at something and you try, try to cover it up. But this one, I knew I could do it. I was like, I can sing this track, I'm going to blow him away. And you he sat like... literally as close to me as you. <laughs> it was Do you stand his face. when you sing or do you. Yeah, of course. Oh, yes. Yes. So yeah. he's just sitting there this close he, to you? Literally, and I'm standing in front of him like this. Singing out Gaston, my number. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was very Why funny. would he do that? Do you think it was he a was strategy? He was to intimidate me, actually. Was he really? Yeah, yeah. No, he's not that kind of person, but uh, I intimidated him. You did, yeah. That, well, sure, that you was were the up point. there. He's down here, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Wow, that's unbelievable. Yeah. Well, and then, so you make this movie, and Josh Gad is in the movie. Yeah. He's very funny. He's very funny, yeah. And, and, you, and you have all these magical little things that happen in the film, which has to be a lot of fun to see yeah, on screen. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's crazy. Most of the, the magic you see in the, the finished product, you never see it when you're actually shooting it. It's just right. like a polystyrene ball or yeah. absolutely nothing. We all know how it works. Yeah, We're yeah, not, you know, you know yeah. this is not a group of dummies right here. We no, know what's going no, on. Exactly. We're yeah. out buying our girlfriend tops, you name it. We... Right. It's a bit right. Of a... <laughs> Sorry, Anna. Is it true that your fan... That you have a group of fans, and this is, I think, I think, you know, when you really have something, when your fans give themselves a name. Yeah, they do, yeah. They call themselves the Lucateers. The Lucateers. Because I was a musketeer, and uh, I was one of the musketeers in a movie we did a few years back, yeah. And they just, they named themselves... And the themselves. other two guys, none of their fans call themselves the anything I have no clue what they call them, but uh, mine's the Lucateers. You're the Lucateers. Yeah, they're the everywhere. They're international, yeah. They're do they follow the you around, the Lucateers? Yeah. yeah, they're airports, and they're very nice. Is right? there a headquarters that they <laughs> gather in? I think it's called Twitter. Hey, Twitter, OK. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't have conventions, like Lucateer, <laughs> like meeting groups Maybe or one anything? day. Yeah, yeah why not? I have let's, a career left. <laughs> let's set that up. <laughs> you could stand there and sing to them while they're really close to you, it would be totally, fantastic. Yeah, I could totally do that. Well, congratulations on the movie. It Thank came you. out really great. It's yeah. called Beauty and the Beast. It opens in theaters March 17th. That's Luke Evans, everybody. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe. And if you don't click subscribe, this invisible hamster will die.